Hey guys, Marco here, back once again from MyColorScreen.com bringing you the second episode of Android Home Screen Tutorials for Beginners. In our previous episode, we featured just getting the basic setup for a simple home screen. But now, what if you wanted something more of a theme, something more minimal? So in today's episode, we're doing simple minimal. In this episode, I'll just be giving you a few tips and tricks on creating a very good looking minimal home screen so that if it looks something like this, it's minimal, but it's not very functional. So I'm going to be teaching you how to create a theme that's both minimal and functional. Also, I've got something pretty cool lined up for the end of the show. So you might want to check it out. Let us begin. All right, first off, we're going to need two applications for this tutorial. So the first off we're going to need is the one called Quick Pick. It's a free app from the Google Play Store. I highly recommend it. It's much better than your gallery. It's a lot quicker and it's easier to crop images. So you definitely want to get that. Next is one of the most highly recommended customization apps called Minimalistic Text. It's also free and comes with a whole range of features that are very easy to use if you're just starting out customization. Also, I'll be using Nova Launcher in this one. So if you don't have it or if you have Apex Launcher, then I also recommend using one of these launchers as they're also really great. Just so you can get quite a clean screen as you can see here. Okay, cool. So starting off, our home screen is going to look something similar to this if you've just started up your launcher. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of unnecessary icons that you don't need. You've got this bulky dock bar at the bottom, you've got the status bar at the top that even though it's not really noticeable, it can get in the way sometimes. And finally, we have any widgets that can also get if you're not using them a lot. Just hold down and go remove. Great. So we're going to start off by pushing in our menu, going into our Nova settings. This is just going to set up our screen just so it's quite blank, like a clean palette, ready for minimal. We'll start off by going into our dock and enable dock. If you've got Apex settings, don't worry, it's there's very they're very similar, so don't worry, you won't get lost. So we'll go back, we'll go into look and feel, and we want to take off the notification bar as well, just because if you have a minimal widget, it'll replace whatever you have at the top. Finally, we'll go to gestures and buttons. And what I always like to do is our home button. We want to change it to the app drawer. This is because we don't even need an app button at the bottom. Just pushing this button will replace that. Also, if you're opting for the Nova Launcher Prime or Apex Launcher Pro, I highly recommend it, especially for minimalism, just because you can have all of these functions for gestures. You can pinch in to open your app drawer, double tap to open your status bar, whatever you want, the choice is yours. As well as you don't have to label icons, Let's keep that minimality, minimality, is that even a word? Great, so we'll go back and we'll widgets overlap, overlap when placing and boom, and over settings done. Got a fresh clean palette ready to be minimal. So if you watch our previous episode, as you can watch over here, I said that you must download a wallpaper app called Wallbase. This is where you're going to find great minimal themes. Just You yeah, just have to go into it, type in search minimal. There are a whole range of minimal wallpapers you can go on forever. So once you've found one, you want to hold down the screen and choose wallpapers. If you're using Quick Pick wallpapers, great. Now your wallpapers should be saved in a folder called saved. If not, it should be somewhere else then, I guess. And you want to look for quite a minimal wallpaper. That one's not too bad. So there we have it. Now we want to add in our minimalist text, so we'll go widgets because minimalist text is purely a widget. Great widget at that and we want to go to minimalistic text. Now just because this is a beginner I'm not going to go into any of the custom layouts. So we can choose any size we want, let's go 2x2 two two to start off with. And as you can see it comes with a whole list of options. I'll just take off show background, don't really need that for now. And the most important is our layout where we go predefined layout. Choose any of these you want. Let's see. We'll go for our time just to start off with. Also, your textile where you can change. It's going to be changing the color for now. And we'll go accented. What's cool about minimalistic text is that you can have three different types of fonts and text and sizes all on one widget, which is really great. So, there we have it. Now we can resize it a bit. You can change the size as well. I'm going to keep it there for now. So as you can see that's quite cool looking. To add another one you just hold it down, go widgets again, go OK. And there we have it. As you can see it's got quite a cool looking text style to it. Obviously you can change that if you really want. And there we have it. Remember we've changed our Nova settings to open up our app drawer like that. So now if you're wondering how would you want to get to your, your most important icons that you use or the most important apps, well then you simply hold down on an icon and drag it onto your home screen. 
See, that was quite easy. So we do that again. See, now we have a few already on screen. But now you don't want these to take up quite a few space. So if you drag them all into one area, as you can see, it's made a nice pretty little folder for you. It launches like this, do that, and it's really, really handy. If you want to change these folder settings, you're welcome to go to menu, Nova settings, look and feel, scroll to the bottom, folders. This is where you can change your folder preview to a grid, stack, fan, as well as change the background as well if you want. Just so, add some more variability to it. As you can see, it's a nice pretty little minimal icon there. As always, you can hold down and go edit, tap that, and you can change that icon to whatever you want. So if you go icon pack, remember we installed Metro Station in the previous one, which comes with a whole bunch of icons to choose from. I'm just gonna choose this little bunny rabbit here. You can also make it semi-transparent. And there we have it. So that'll bring up our quick most used icons. You'll have your app draw, you have everything you need. Minimal done. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you think in the comment section below. And also don't forget to subscribe to our My Color Screen channel. Finally, I have some homework for you viewers. Yes, you guys. I want you to create your own minimal home screen, post it onto mycolorscreen.com. It's very easy to do. Then in the comment section, just post me your My Color Screen username and I'll go have a look at it. If I like it, I'll feature it in the next beginner tutorial video. Thank you very much guys and I'll see you around next time.